Welcome to Lee and Cohen. Welcome to your weekly video, and this is our final video for this month, talking about scary financial realities. And yes, this is our final video. We saved our scariest financial reality for this, our fourth video. And we continue our topic about Halloween and we're rocking the Raptors jersey number 15, Vince Carter, representing on our final video. So, the final scary financial reality that we want to share with you guys is that most likely you will never be financial independent. And yes, this sounds very sort of mean and very scary, but I can promise you 90%, maybe even more, maybe the number is greater of people in the world can't afford to be financial independent. Yes, and that's why I say can't afford it to be financial independent. Because if you have all sorts of debt, credit card debt, car debt, your house mortgage, uh, you have different loans that you need to pay, your student payment loans, your personal loans, maybe you took different loans to pay different, because you needed to pay other uh, debts that you had, you've come to this cycle that if you're not intelligent and you're not proactive on paying all those debts, you will be in a cycle where you will be constantly paying debt and wasting money on paying all your expenses that you won't have money to, to save or to invest to create that financial independence that you want. And this is the case for a lot of people. Uh, and this is why it's so scary. We all envision ourselves when we are young, when we are productive, that we want to have that financial independence that will let us uh, take the vacations that we want, have the things that we aspire to have, and just enjoy our life to the fullest without worrying about money. But the reality is that the circumstances that we're living right now in the world about that uh, economic instability and all of those things don't provide the opportunity to have that financial independence that we all want to achieve and we all want to have. Because for, to have that financial independence, you really need to have lots and lots of wealth saved up, or you need to have multiple streams of revenue. But having multiple streams of revenue, you need to, they need to be passive income. And when we talk about passive income, the, the important thing that you need to realize is just because it says passive income doesn't mean you don't need to work on it. Most passive incomes, for them to work, you need to put the time and effort just like any other job. The only difference is that with your regular job, you will maybe work nine to five, maybe work lots of other hours, but in a passive income, you just need to set a certain amount of time and a certain amount of days just to make that income work for you. So if you don't have that, those opportunities to have lots of passive income, you invest it, you have lots of wealth saved up, maybe your financial independence will maybe never come because you will always need to work uh, to pay your debts, maybe you'll always have to work just to pay your day-to-day your -day expenses, and that financial income won't necessarily come. And when eventually it comes, you'll be in your 70, your 80 years old, and you won't necessarily have the energy to live the life that you wanted to be, have. So the maybe the only way that you can actually achieve that financial independence is maybe if you win the lottery or you have an enormous amount of wealth, the stars align and you magically win the lottery and you can save up millions of dollars and you invest that money so you can have that financial independence and you won't have to worry about uh, working for the next 30, maybe 40 years depending on how you use that money the smart way. Because the reality is that most of us, uh, when we get that consciousness about our finances, we're already, most of us are already in debt. We don't necessarily make the smart and intelligent decisions when we are young, when we have the, cap the capability to uh, be smart with the decisions financially that we want to do. So when we get this consciousness about the things that we do financially, we're already in our productive years, maybe we already have debt, we've uh, picked up this enormous amount of debt that we are struggling to pay, and that is what keeping us 
from achieving that financial independence because instead of taking that money and saving it, investing it to make more wealth, we'll actually be spending it to pay all that debt. So this is the scariest reality that uh, we can have right now in the world that we're living, in the financial climate that we're living right now. And this is why we left it for the last scary financial reality that we wanted to share with you guys. But leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about the topic that we shared on this October. Give us a like. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get a new notification every time we post a new video. But always remember to have that king mentality.